Hey guys, I'm Sarah from 190. Welcome back to my channel. I'm fully happy and appreciated that you're here today. I'd like to show you my hidden cauldron secret cell door divider. And when you open it, you can escape the jail cell and you can even escape back in if you wish by pressing the button and climbing up the ladder. And down here, I can actually put a cart down here and escape the prison through a pipe all the way into the water. And now I'm a free man just like on Shawshank Redemption. It's a faction! It's really fun device to make guys and it's very easy to do it only uses two redstone pieces hi guys I am back and if you'd like to know how this is built this is exactly how it's done just get a block of choice a cauldron and a bucket of water you will also need two redstone pieces a sticky piston and a button and once you've done this put a hole in the ground and next to your block of choice put a cauldron with water and a sticky piston and now when you activate the sticky piston it will push it forward and back on a singular motion so that's the idea guys and between it when you stand on top of it you can drop straight through so let's just uh, move that one block back and so it's a sticky piston it should pull it back in and as you can see here is redstone underneath a button and it goes all the way around to the sticky piston and when I press that button it will push the cauldron back and forwards even works with water in it which I did not know but it does, and I was super excited for that for some reason. So it's completely hidden. So let's just uh, fix that a little bit. Put the redstone up here instead. Okay, so when I press it, here we go, perfect. Leaving a gap underneath, and you can create the gap. Depending on where you put the hole, guys, you can have two different types. I might actually fill that hole up with carpet, uh, with wool. I'm in the city texture pack, guys. It's my favorite. It's definitely my favorite. I use it all the time. It's pretty good with glowstone. I love it. It's white. White glowstone, white grey wool. It's just epic. It's really good for buildings. And as you can see, I'm halfway through to building my tiny cell device. And in every good cell, there is a bunk bed. So I'm just going to add a bunk bed right now. So I'm going to start off by putting one on the top and breaking these underneath. And one underneath. There you go. That's a bunk bed. Very simple. And now let's just make the wall little bit bigger, just a little bit bigger, so we got room. And then I'm going to put a roof on it. So, let's do the walls. I'm also going to use the fence here, uh, iron bars. Of course, iron bars are a must in any jail cell. I'm also going to have a door so you can escape. But you will need a pressure plate in order to access it, which I will stash in a, tre in a treasure chest underneath the cauldron. So that in order to escape, you have to find the way through the toilet, and you have to flush yourself down. So basically you'll be flushing yourself down the toilet into the sewers where you find the chest with a pressure plate. Then you climb back up and you can exit the door. So that's a pretty good idea I think for a prison break scene or some sort of build in which you'll be breaking prisons. And here I'm just adding the ladder so that when I press the button that's underneath the piston it will open and I can climb the ladder back out. I think that's pretty cool. What do you guys think? If you guys have any ideas that I haven't yet seen I'd like to know, so please don't forget to like and subscribe. I am Sarah from 190. This is my channel, in case you didn't know. Trying hard to keep up with the Joneses